Hi everybody, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. Uh, welcome back. We do weekly live streams, blog posts and videos on everything data analytics. If you like this channel, hit the like and subscribe button for further videos coming soon. So today we're going to talk about index error list out of range. It's quite a common problem. Um, I've come across it, I've uh, been on a number of blog posts and I'm just trying to figure out what it is. So let's get straight into the code, take you through what the problem is, it's a very quick fix, but why does it occur? So on the screen, you will see we have the error here, right? And let's come back here in my Python code. And essentially what's happening here, if we start, start up here, we have a list called data, and in that list goes values A, B, C, and D. Now in that list, they obviously have index values associated with them. So in our code, We've done a quick loop here uh, for i and item in enumerate. So enumerate, by the way, is a very, very handy um, function that allows you to loop through uh, a list and bring back values, whatever you want. I uh, thoroughly recommend you get to know it. So in this list, we're just enumerating over the list called data, which is this here. And then we're trying to start, start and apply the index value equals zero. Now you can change that to any value. So we could change that to say 22, rerun this, Okay, let's do this here now. Okay, down here in the left, you'll see it starts at 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, we'll just put that back to zero. But let's rerun this, okay. So this loop basically loops through the list, uh, A, B, C, D, then prints I an item, which is I, uh, the index value item is the actual item in the list. Uh, then what we're doing is next line is printing type data, and the final line is print data index value five. So essentially what is happening here when you get this error, it is actually doing is it's looking for index values associated with the list. So when you get the index error list index out of range, essentially means it's an index value you're looking for that's not actually an index value of the list. So in our output down here, we can see that we've applied zero to A, one to B, two to C, and three to D. Okay, and they're the index values of each value in the list. But down here, we've actually printed out data and within these square brackets, we've asked for the index value five. But actual index value five, as we can see from the output, doesn't exist. If we change that to four, that should give us the same error. Okay. Yep, same error again. Now, if you change that to three, the error disappears and it'd be zero, one, two, three. So we should get a value of D. Okay, so our value D there appears in this list. So now what's happening is that you're not getting the error uh, in error, error uh, list index out of range because the, the index value three is in the list. Now, if we expand the list, so let's just say, let's just do this, okay. Put in E, okay, and then we'll just say, F, okay. So originally when we started out, um, this error we had, we we're looking for index value five. So now we have a zero, one, two, three, four, five. So actually F now will be applied the index value five. So if we actually print, change that back to five and rerun this, okay. Now, what you see is you have the value F, which is the index value of five in the list. So that essentially is um, index error, list index out of range. That is what the error is, that's how it occurs, and that's how you fix it. So I hope you've liked this video today. I hope it's uh, explained the problem, what the, how the problem occurs and how you can fix it. As I said at the start, we do weekly videos and blog posts and actually we live streaming at the moment. So I rec totally recommend you get onto some of them as well when you can. Uh, more videos coming out soon. Uh, thanks for coming along and we'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.